Hello everybody, Bob6983 here, and we are back for some more Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age. I'm gonna check my settings really quickly. Okay, cool, just making sure, because uh, I, sometimes I change them. In the last episode, we finally um, fixed up the, the problems going on with Silvando and his dad. Seems to me, or like, seems it was like, it seems like it was just a misunderstanding. I don't know why I can't talk at all, like these past few days, but in this episode, I'm starting things off here because I kind of want to see what this quest is. I took like a gander at it last night, but I didn't really properly listen. There's a monster in the Eerie Irie. He was once a noble caballero, but was somehow transformed into a monster. His sense of knightliness has disappeared completely, and he commits the most wicked acts. It's terrible. Someone was put an end to evil ways of this disgrace to chivalry. Okay, cool. There's a certain pet power. Um, okay. So you want us to do something and it's for a metal slime shield. I kind of don't want that. Uh, it's called Arise. You need to put this knight, a variant in his place. It's called Arise. By three able swordsmen, bring two such warriors with you and unleash. Okay. Uh, you, I, I don't know what exactly that power is though, is the thing. Why did want to do that? Attributes. Let's see. We need that power, temper tantrum, heal your boy. Let's see. Float of flare, roaring tide. Hallelujah, echo aura, say just cast away. Arise. So we can do it. Um, let's see. I did not want to do that, but okay. I now know where it is, but how do I... Okay, so just those three have to be pepped up. I can do that, I guess. But I could use a pep pip now, or pep pop. I keep calling them pep pips, I'm so sorry. I could go do that, but it's for a shield and only the hero would probably be able to use it, so... I don't know. I think now we have the pet pops in our inventory. And he said it was in the Eerie Irie, but... To go to the Eerie Irie... Uh, I think I'm not going to worry about that. I don't remember where we were supposed to go next, but I do know that we can use, we can do two quests for um, for what is it for getting stuff? For example, over there at Mount Fuji, we can defeat out Boreal Serpent, and then we can go to the Eerie Irie to do to get something else. I might go back to. Um, do the Boreal Serpent thing. You know what? Screw it. Let's go do that. Because I have pet pops on me now. Somewhere over here, I think. Make a good use of the map. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm too high. I need to go lower. My bad. And he, please, please tell me that they're there because I know that sometimes it's like, oh, this enemy isn't active in this time. So like you gotta fight it during this other time. All right, let's go down. Let's see if they're over there. And if they are over there, then I'm going to put a pep pop in one of my character's inventory spaces. I don't see any enemies. Oh, there is one. Okay, let's see. Items. Are they in Silvando's stuff or is it, am I just not looking properly? Huh. 
Oh, it's probably in the item bag. There they are. Pass up all active members. Ah. Uh, I want to use it, but two of us are already pepped up. Fine. You know what? I'll just use one. Yeah, just to show it off. May as well. Hey, you with the shoe. There we go. Aurora Borealis at this time of the year. I wonder if this will pep up the hero. No, I did not. Fine. Let's use one. I know this is a waste of one. I know I would prefer to not do it, but here we go. I think it was Blaze of Glory that we needed to do on this. And, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's show off Pearly Gates, because we haven't really done that. Ah, and I don't have the thing that I wanted to use. But maybe Sylvanda has more um, points on him. I'm not quite sure. i have to look. But, yeah. I think we are big schmoovin'. I lost my train of thought, so that's the only thing I could say. I missed? There we go. And stay down. Okay. Let's go back over here and let's see what we get as our reward. I actually do not know where we're supposed to go. I, I remember that. Hendrick did say somewhere, but I, just, I can't think of where. Okay, what do you have for me upstairs? And if it's nothing and I wasted a pep pop, then I'm going to be upset. The mistake, it's an item, kind of like the... um. Kind of like the Warlock. I don't know what exactly it does. But I guess I'll hold on to it. Let's see. Increases the chance of getting pepped up by 1%. Great. Anyways, I guess. Not Nautica. I'm sorry. Former Nautica. My bad. Let's just get on the boat with Dave and let's see what we can do there. I'm not going to go over to the Eerie Irie. That's just too much. We're already like nine minutes into this episode. Or almost nine minutes. Enough uh, stalling. I just kind of wanted to see if we could do something before we went with story progression. All right. Hello, horse. I've missed you. Going the right way? Yeah, just making sure. Once I get a, a good stopping point, I'll go ahead and check Silvando's um, points, see if he's earned anything or not. Thank you, horse. All right, let's get on. Sleep ailment. You snooze, you lose. So interesting. I, I just read something which is really helpful. It said that um, it said something like magic doesn't really wake up people, but physical attacks kind of do. God, you don't know how much I've been looking forward to wel to welcome welcome you and your mate on board again. By the way, have you heard the rumors? What's been going around the inn and Zvaj rest, the warriors rest in the same dream. Interesting. Oh, by the way, do you all see 
That thing in the sky, the circle thing. Keep that in mind. This is the way towards the Vodgers, right? But yeah, that thing in the sky is right above um, Galopolis. It's awful, terrible. Vino Moose. The old man of the sea. That took a lot of damage. I need to sneeze in a moment. <coughs> oh shoot, excuse me, bless me. I'm so sorry. My friends. And you know what? Let's go for um Giga Slash. I've recently um gained a little bit of weight, but I'm going to mainly blame it on um I'm going to blame it on going to Olive Garden with my family because just thinking about it, I was like, damn, Olive Garden really does have like a lot of cards. So uh, I, as much as, you know, the food was really good. Oh, I should probably heal. There we go. As much as the food is really good, it, it's, uh, it's a lot of cards and I am a little upset about that. It wasn't a lot of weight. It was like maybe a pound or two, um, but well, we'll get back to um, we'll get back to where we want to be because um, I was able to lose like 23, 24 pounds. I'm able to lose more pounds as you know. It's no big deal. Plus, we can just use that weight as an excuse to be like, oh, I'm bulking a little bit. And then just redistribute that as muscle in your body again. Yeah, it's over here. My fault. My fault. My bad. A little bit more to the right. I really don't want to fight these guys. But if I don't... If I don't try to fight them and then it's like, Oh, well, you should have fought them because they prevented you from leaving. It's like you skip a whole turn on your end. Um, kind of a nuisance. As you can see, we are doing damage to all enemies with Pearly Gates and um, um, Giga Slash. So we're big chilling right now. Score one for the good guy. Thank you, Silvando. Yeah, it looks like we're going over to Swadrust. And then here's hoping that we get over to um, Octagonia afterwards. Please don't tell me that there's a boss fight here because I really am not prepared. So we bestore me all of a sudden. Silvando, this ship of yours is not about to sink, is it? Damn. Uh, uh, don't mention the S word. I'll have us out of this in. He's struggling just a little bit. Jiffy. Please don't tell me there's a boss fight. Oh, Ah, uh, please, no, man. That voice, where is it coming from? I am not prepared for a boss fight. <laughs> it's you, isn't it? Ah, I was hoping it wasn't you. The moment that there was a cutscene, I was like, please, don't let it be you. I know that we're near Nautica, but please do not let it be you. Tremble before the mighty Alizarin, faithful servant of the Lord of Shadows. And Dang. Of the I deep. might have to do empathy with Rab. You dare to enter my realm. We weren't even in your area, man. We no, were just about to, like, depart into Zodra. insult to my lord and master. Prepare to pay. I am not prepared, so I'm I may lose, but I'm ready to throw down. Because you did some terrible things to um to um Queen Marina. You having me on? I just blasted you with pearly gates and you barely even flinched. 
<laughs> the orb with which my lord and master entrusted me renders all your petty human enchantments. No enchantments don't work on you, interesting. So if this really is a boss fight, then I guess I'm not going to be relying on spells to fight this thing. I don't even rely on spells really when it comes to fighting in general with these four. So is it a boss fight? Yes. No. Maybe. Oh. Did we die? Did you die? That one turtle from Finding Nemo be like. This is rather nice. A nice change of pace from what we're used to. This, oh my gosh, this looks like the place where Hal went when uh, he took Sophie to show him the gift that he gave her. I, I like this area, you know. I actually have like a scroll that somebody made and I bought from a convention of that exact same scene because it, it, it's such a pretty scroll, if I'm being honest. And I absolutely had to have it and hang it in my room. Very nice, very pretty. I don't think there's anything of collectible stuff in here. I highly doubt it. They're just making themselves nice little food thing. I can climb up here though. What's up here? Oh, this is where you are. You were not a woman a few seconds ago. Well, 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 so it's you. Don't look so worried. This place isn't heaven, but it's certainly not hell either. Well, don't just stand there. Grab yourself a rod. There's one over there. Sure. So, what you been up to, lady? Lady's nuts in you? I mean... True. And what, might I ask, are you staring at? Is there something stuck to my face? Ah, uh, well, I mean, the mask is. All right, all right. It is rather an imposing appearance, I agree. Why don't we try another? Uh. Not bad. No, still no good. Well, if at first you don't succeed, one more should do it. Dog! Oh. Interesting. Not settling on a particular form, hmm? That rather makes me think you might not know who I am. No, I don't. In your world, I am known as the Seer. What do you see? I take on different appearances for different people, you see. By which I mean to say that I look different depending on who is doing the looking. Neat. But enough about me. How's the fishing? Caught anything? Ah, uh, no, not really. No, I didn't think so. You're not ready yet, you see. When the time comes, you will know it. When the fish finally takes the bait, you must be ready to reel it in. But until then, you have no choice but to wait patiently. That is just the way of life. Okay. You know... I have the strangest feeling I've met one of your companions. Eric, was it? Yeah. What about him? Well, no matter. We are not here to discuss him. Come, let us go inside. We can save the fishing for another day. Fair enough. 
I was actually doing a little fishing on my own before I came here. It was rather big, if I'm being honest. I was about to fold him like an omelet, eat him like a pancake. And yeah, and that was going to be that. Can't get up these stairs, man. Hello, Seer. Take a seat. Make yourself at home. You have a rather calm voice. Now, the fact that you're here makes me wonder if you might have taken a bit of a wrong turn somewhere. Hold still for just a moment. You check on my head for a fever or a cold. Ah, so that's it. Worried we've lost the power of the luminary, are we? Ah, uh, a little, I guess. Well, I'm afraid there's not much I can do about that. But there is one thing I can say. You may think that your power has been taken from you by the Lord of Shadows. May think? But power cannot be taken. No more than it can be touched or tasted. Especially not the power of the luminary. Needle Still mosquito. no idea of what I'm talking about, huh? Well, no matter. I think that's enough for now. Let me leave you with this thought. When the time comes, you will know. You will feel the tug on the line, and you will know. As in fishing, so in life. Okay. Oh, Wise beyond your right. years. Your Not eyes true. are beyond your ears. Hey, you that won't do at all. Well... Don't fret. A certain sacred tree tells me it's not your time just yet. But that sacred tree kind of fell to the ground. Right. I don't know how reliable We'd that source get is. You woken up, hadn't we? You are the luminary, after all. You have rather an important task to be getting on with. Fair enough. Go. Save the world. Okay. True, you do be flicking me on the forehead, the strongest move of all. Sometimes I do that to people and like, not fully flick them. I'll just do like the position of going to go flick their forehead. And they flinch to the point where like, they'll close their eyes like, oh my gosh. It's <gasps> kind of interesting. Oh, thank goodness. Hello, Salvando. How did y'all take care of the fish? When you took that tumble into the sea back there, we all thought you were done for, laddie. Oh, it was terrible. We tried to fish you out, but you slipped beneath the waves before we could get to you. Sorry, Rav, I was just fishing a little bit. But then, well, it was nothing short of a miracle. There was a bright light, and suddenly, there you were, floating up from the seabed. Somehow we managed to pull you out of the water, give that big slimy so-and-so the slip, and get here to safety. I still don't know quite how we did it. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Matter, I'm honey? gonna say is I was fishing, you man. You look like you've seen a ghost. I was fishing! You're kidding. You were... Yeah, fishing. I was fishing! And you met a person called the Seer. And they turned into a dog. Yeah, they turned into a dog. They turned into schlog. Oh, come on, silly Billy. Silly you were just Billy. Dreaming, that's all. You were out for a long time. Silly Billy reminds me you have of. been through quite an ordeal. I, I don't know you if you all rest. watch VTubers. As do we all. But come. there's a VTuber I watch called Nanashi Mume. She is supposedly, <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> the guardian of civilization and whatnot. She was playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. And she had an Azumarill on her team, who she called Jelly Belly. I really like that name. <laughs> Despite me not really liking the Azumarill line, I don't know. I just don't really like them aesthetically. I don't. Re I'm not a fan of like Meryl's form. So I guess specifically Meryl, because Azumarill and Azumarill I've kind of grown, you know, used to liking kind of. But Meryl, I'm still not that big a fan of. 
There'll be time enough for but still, though, that is a really cute life. name for an Azumarill. Come Jelly on. Belly. Let's get you to bed. I don't think I've ever actually used an Azumarill on the team. I've used them for raids in Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet, but never really had one on a team. I know that they put freaking uh, the Minecraft language, the enchantment table, in the water, but I have no idea what it said. Yeah, we were attacked at sea. I thought this was the door out. I'm not going to lie. My fault. My bad. Gold. All right, let's make our way out of here. Warriors rest in. Where is that? That's where it is. Okay, cool. I need to sneeze again. Yeah! Two sneezes in one video is unheard of. I don't think I remember the entrance to Zbodgers being like this. If anything, I think I remember it being over in this direction. But maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tweaking. As it were. Hello, iteration of the ham witches. It seems like everybody was having same dream over here. They made a song about that, actually. I get the same old dream, same time every night, fall to the ground and I'll wait. That's actually not, not how they sing. But, you know, that's kind of going towards the way that they sing. But, you know, <laughs> and that's all I really wanted to say. Well, if everybody's having the same dream over here, let's go ahead and see if we can join in on the fun as well. What kind of dream y'all having? Such pain. Such despair. Interesting. I am helpless, powerless, burned by the chains of regret. If only I could go back, I would gladly accept eternal damnation just to go back to that day. Interesting. Please, hear my plea. You must free this restless knight from his prison of despair. Well, I guess I know what we're doing next. I don't even know if I have access to it, but I do know where exactly it is and what to do. I accidentally bonked or moved my mic a little bit. So we all had the same dream, eh? I had a dream like last night. Saying, I don't even know how that one goes night, either, but it was in Avengers late, Endgame. Asking to go back. Oh, it was tragic. He looked so desperate. I wish there was something we could do to help, but we don't know who he is or even where he is. I know where he is. Uh, maybe not. But that was Dracillian armor he was wearing. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, I know that. What do you say, laddie? Shall we go and see what's become of Dundrasil now that this blasted darkness has engulfed the world? Sure. So we're going over to Dundrasil first. The ruins of Dundrasil. Or are we going over to... um? Or the Dundrasil region. Because they are slightly different. Mm. Alright, now that I'm at a good... Um, now that I'm at a good a point. Silvando! Awesome! He has showmanship, liveliness, whips, swords, knives. Nothing has changed. Cool. Um, Don't really want dual wheeling. No need for us to have that. That's a mod. It would be nice. Charm plus 40 would be amazing. That one's a 9. That one's a 13. Hit the hay. I'm going to get this. There's a reason why. I wanted that. I wanted the Veerm. Or, no, I'm sorry. I'm so used to saying Veerm now. V worm whips. Verm whips, whatever you want to call them. I really want that. 
But charm plus 40 would be amazing. Hmm. I think I'm going to take worm whips. Yeah. And then I'll make my way over to charm plus 40. I don't really want that. Well, that's a motive would be nice. I don't know what that is, but we'll, we'll get it. And then I guess we'll get these two last. Don't really need anything for swords or knives. Liveliness would be nice. But, oh, hold off. Okay, I guess let's make our way over that way. I'm going to check the ruins, I guess, first. That's probably what we need to go check. There was a troll there. We already opened the rightmost one. So, I wonder if the leftmost one is available. These waters are... Okay. It was just on my TV. On my TV, they look blue now. And on the Elgato, it looks purple, which is interesting. Oh, these are those Vodras ruins. My fault. Okay. Well, since we can't do anything now, these are not the correct ruins. Let's go over to the Dungeon Soul region. If I can even get out of here, that is. My TV is so dark. I can, I literally can see better on my monitor than I can on my actual TV that I'm using to see. I actually don't remember if I ever went this way. It may have been inaccessible at, at one point, maybe. But, ooh, treasure chest. Money, 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 money. Here comes the money. Making good use of the map menu. I'm good. I don't want to use the map at the moment. Well, I use it very frequently. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, this loops around. Cool. <laughs> I was playing Fortnite like, um, like an hour and a half ago, maybe. Or like longer than that, but, um, <laughs> we were in like a group of four. And then whenever there was like an enemy team like in front of us or whenever like I went I wanted to go fight somebody I, I don't know why but I've been pretty stupid I, I was like I'm gonna go over there and I, I kind of want to get into that action I want to go see if they can match my freak I don't know why but that was just that was just something I was saying and it's just I, I, I'm in a mood at the moment is I guess what I'm trying to get at there is something that I did want to get from over here you are already lurking here. These guys are really tough. Like, really, really, really tough. It's a green version, though. So maybe it's not as... It is tough, but not as tough. That thing in its hand is a thing that we kind of... It would be nice to have those. We can't really do anything with them at the moment. But it's nice to know that this thing is here. Um, but yeah, that's why I wanted the Worm Whips, because it does damage to, um, dragon enemies. It does a lot. Let's go ahead and, uh, either Air Razor or Rake and Break. I don't know what the difference is, but let's just do this one. Air Razor. Air Razor. Nice. Dragon Slash. And with Hendrix Sword, we should be able to Unbridled Blade and do some pretty good damage. Please don't knock one of us down. Uh, Silvano, it's fine. Not bad. Anyways, let's finish this off on Bridal Blade. 375. Nice. Our diligence is its own reward. Nice. You learn more heal. I don't think I can really do... Oh, uh, well, you have 14 points. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Great swords. Helichopter would be nice. Frost Fang. We're almost there, but uh, I'll, I'll hold off on that. I think I want to go up this way. But... Ah, screw it. We'll go here. We haven't had a chance to go up here, if I'm being honest. Double up would be nice, too, 
and strength plus 20. 